a while back I was at one of my favorite beaches, uh, one of the ones with the large cliff that's being eroded by the ocean. I always tell people to stay well clear of the cliff and this is the reason why. I noticed some rocks were falling down I thought it might mean there's a, gonna be a bit of a collapse soon. So I put my GoPro on time-lapse mode and waited. Well, it's been a few weeks now since that cliff collapsed. So let's see if anything's washed away. We don't actually have to go near the cliff. Uh, most of the things will get washed down by the waves. So, yeah, I'm not going to go there near the, the edge over there. I'm just going to stick down. I'm going to stick down over here. You can see that thing, that tank over there, that water tank fell from the top. But yeah, I'm going to stay over here where things have been washed away nicely. There's another one of these selenite crystals. Beautiful one. I recently did a bit of air abrasion on it to bring out the crystal and it worked quite well. I don't know if this one's um, selenite or gypsum. Selenite is the crystal form of gypsum I think. If you look closely at this concretion over here, you can see it's got one, two, three little things sticking out on the side there. The shape is a bit weird, but I think it's worth having a look at it. Hey! Crab claws! Two of them. One, two. Yeah, so that's definitely a crab. It's a weird shape though. It's such a narrow concretion. It's not what I normally would think a crab would be in. You can't argue with that though. One, two claws over there. And some legs sticking out there. Yeah, so definitely a crab. You know I do love random bones. Have a look at that one over there. <laughs> that looks like a modern cetacean. So dolphin or whale bone. Uh, part of the well, a vertebra with the process. Oh, let me get it right. The dorsal process over there, and we've got maybe is it called a lateral process there? It's under this big rock. I can actually see a little bit of bone sticking out there too. Uh, let me see if I can move this rock away. I lift with our legs before anyone gets upset. Whenever I lift anything, people get really upset saying I lift with my back. But I'm not going to. I'm also not going to show you my back. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's a huge vertebrae. Okay, so it's not a fossil vertebra. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's modern bone. But remember, I always mention epiphyses, like the vertebra cookie. I'm not sure if that's the actual cookie or where it would attach. Yeah, because they they often come dislodged. And you can see that texture over there. That's where the that's either the outer surface of the epiphyses or where the epiphyses used to connect onto. Um, because the epiphyses, which just means like the end cap of the bone, people also sometimes call it the growth plate. But the epiphyses does fuse with the main body when the animal gets older. Yeah, that's very cool. In New Zealand, you're not allowed to collect modern whale bones which this is. So this is staying here, yeah, but that's a beautiful bone. It's all protected. 
Let's have a look at this other little bone up down there. We just zoom in. Look at that. That's fossil. <laughs> yeah, so that's a piece of fossil bone next to some modern bone. I don't know what this is from. It's just a chunk. Yeah, it could be from anything. Very cool to see such a complete vertebra though. Would have been a fairly big animal too. Hmm. Is that a claw sticking out? Is it? Giving it a bit of a rinse, and there's some other little bits of what might be crab sticking out. Yeah, so I think it's a very complete crab in there. I'll take it back. I can always give it a quick prep to see what's going on inside. Whenever I see a concretion this shape, kind of like this oval shape with this little sticking out bit over there. I think lobster or crayfish or whatever it is, <laughs> scampi, and look over there, just on that side, if you look very carefully, let me just zoom in, if you look very carefully over there, that's a little bit of the lobster sticking out there. So we definitely have a, a really good lobster in here, or scampi, <laughs> but yeah this is one of those you're going to have to uh, prep it to see the full detail. So let me just keep these little snails in your home and come home with me. But yeah that's a, a really nice scampi over there. There's an interesting bit of bone down here. It's real dense up there, and look at that curve, and it goes through up to there. I wonder if we're looking at a bit of ear bone over here. It's got that shape to it. So it's definitely bone, and it's super dense, and it's got a, a very definite curve to it. it. Doesn't look like it's broken too far in the past, so maybe we'll find the other part of it. Thanks everyone that sent through the post bags for me to send the fossils away. I've got like 50 and this is the second lot. I've already done 20. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> a lot more people are interested in New Zealand fossils than I thought. Um, I'm going to sort these out hopefully today and then put them in the post on Monday. So it should get to you next week. And here are some of the fossils I've got ready to send. I've been labeling them so at least you know what you're getting. There's yeah, petrified wood, some vertebra, lots of crabs, crayfish, some agates. Yeah, there's lots in there. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, if you do go down to that beach, stay away from those cliffs like you saw. They do come down and they do come down quite a distance away from the base of the cliff. But stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.